Hey guys, what is up, Rubik's Life here, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way possible to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. This method only uses three algorithms, and the first one solves you the whole top layer and all of the yellow. And the final two only make you solve this last bit. So only three algorithms in this entire method, and it's super simple, and you can easily get sub-30 uh, sub seconds on this, sub-20 seconds if you can get fast on this. Uh, now for the advanced tutorial, you want to uh, check out the Ortega method, uh, that's the one that I use if you're trying to be advanced, but this is the, for the beginners only. This is like, you just bought it at the store, you just picked it up, it doesn't matter what kind, what brand, whatever. Uh, it's, this is the easiest method and you will solve it 100% with, uh, with this method, so let's get right into it. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, scramble mine, and I'll give you the scramble up on screen. That way you can, uh, if you do solve it, you can come back and just follow along the steps, or if you haven't scrambled it yet, uh, you can scramble it to like this. So that way we have the exact same cube, and you can follow my exact moves, exact steps. That way we can go along. And um, I'm using the Moyu Ling Po with uh, customized sticker colors. Uh, from uh, the cubicle, so if you want to uh, pick up this cube, you can go on Amazon, go whatever you want, and I get the Ling Po, which is the one that I'm using, and I really, really like it, so, uh, yeah, it's the one I'm using, just in case you were wondering. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, this scramble, so F, oh, I'm going to start, sorry, I'm going to start with the white on top and the blue in front, that way uh, everyone's the same, so F, R, U, L prime, U prime, R prime, D, uh, B prime, U, D, L prime, U, R prime. And then your cube should look like this. There's two yellows, red, blue, white, green, um, orange, green, and then the bottom, white, orange, blue, red. And then you should have the same scramble as long as you follow that. And it'll be up on the screen too, so if you need to pause it, go ahead and do that. Um, what we're going to do is go ahead and start anywhere you want on the cube with just a white piece on it. So, um, for example, if you had this where there's two white pieces that match, so you want the colors on the, on the sides to match as well as the white on top. Uh, if you have that, start on that side with the white on top, but uh, in our case we don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start anywhere I want. I'm going to start with this one right here. Uh, this is the blue and red uh, white piece, and I'm going to put that on the very top where I'm holding it. And I'm going to cycle the cube and look on this bottom layer for any more white corners. So I can turn the cube and I don't find any. And that's perfectly okay. And now you can go ahead and look on the bottom. And I see there's one on the bottom here. So what I want to do is I want to move this white piece uh, to the bottom right of where my white piece is that I started with. So my blue, red, and white corner piece is in the top left here. And my blue orange and white corner piece is right here and uh, it should go here because it's blue and blue so the one algorithm you're gonna have to do and it's only four moves is this one it's super easy so R prime D prime R D and then if it doesn't work you want to just repeat that so R prime D prime R D and that, now something's up, but that's not the one that we want. We wanted the blue ones. We're gonna do it one more time. R prime, D prime, R, D. And make sure you do that D move. That will definitely help later. Make sure you do that whenever we do that, or it will mess up the whole cube. Um, so now we have t two blues, two whites, and uh, this is looking good so far. Now I'm seeing this one that popped up, the green, red, and white. And we don't want it to go here because if you know your uh, cube colors, which is super important for this, um, blue is opposite of green and orange is opposite of red. And the red and green is completely opposite of this color. So it needs to be back here where the um, green side and the red side will be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy all the way to underneath where he needs to go. So like uh, wherever you put this corner piece is where it's going to go, so the piece directly on top of it. So now it's directly underneath this one in the bottom right, or on the right side anyways. And we'll do that same algorithm again. So R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D 
d prime r d r prime d prime r d r prime d prime r d and there we go and sometimes it does take some time because if it's facing a certain way it'll rotate it around and then finally get it up but now we have three and they're all good because you can know the two colors on the sides are matching so we have the blue side and the red side done and then here's the last one and now it's up top which is really strange and if it's in the bottom go ahead and put it in the bottom right and do the same algorithm again now for this one it's super easy um, all you do is put it in the top right this time because it's up on the top layer and put it on the right side facing you and do the same algorithm just one more time. So R prime, D prime, R, D. And now it's in the bottom and we replace it with some other one that we do not want to solve yet. So now we just put it in the bottom right like it should be. So it's in the bottom right right here and it's uh, underneath where it needs to go and we'll do that algorithm just another time. So R prime, D prime, R, D. And now the whole top layer is done. So you have all the whites all this first layer and now we have to solve this bottom side and then this final layer now on a regular Rubik's Cube the opposite of white is yellow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this white side that we just solved and turn it all the way upside down and put it down on the ground so on the very bottom so this side right here the opposite of the white should be yellow now look at that that's even awesome that's uh, so much better that we already have two and uh, it does not matter if these match it helps but it it doesn't matter. Um, so what you do in this case is uh, you want it to be in the bottom right again uh, on the top face. So don't put it down here. That's bad. Uh, in the bottom right on the top face, like right here, and put just one that's not yellow. Since we already have two, um, you're going to turn the top layer and never rotate your cube ever again. So never just do this and switch just to put it in the bottom right because that will mess you up. You do not want to turn your cube because that will mess you up and it will scramble your cube again. You'll have to start all over. So only turn this top face from now on. So once you have the piece that you want to make uh, up so the yellow is on the top, you're going to do that same exact algorithm all over again. So R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D. And there you go. And I do not worry about this part. This part's supposed to be messed up until you have all four done. Now, this is the most important part. Do not turn the cube or you will mess up uh, all of this and then your white part will never be solved again. So what you want to do is put, just turn this top layer and turn it so it's in the bottom right again. And then do this exact same algorithm, and that'll put this final yellow piece here and fix all the whites. So R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D. And now we have all of the yellow on the top, and we have all the white solved again, and the first layer is still solved. And that's because we didn't rotate the cube, like physically, we only turned this top layer. And now what you'll see is you'll see uh, the yellow solves, but we don't have all of these. Now what you want to do is look for this piece right here. You will always have two pieces that are always the same in this method. So uh, what you want to do is you want to turn this piece so uh, it matches with, with its color. So we have two oranges. So you want to mash it up with the orange. And now you're able to rotate your cube. What you want to do is put the piece that has... Um, the matching colors on the left um, so that way this uh, full completed side is safe on the left side and now what we're gonna do is do our final algorithm in order to do um, to match up these two right here so actually it's only two different algorithm that's crazy um, so we're gonna just gonna switch these two with one algorithm um, and it's super simple it's a little longer this is the only one that's really gonna be hard to memorize because the first one's only four so this one's a lot, uh, a little bit longer. It's not super hard. It's really um, simple. What I would recommend doing to memorize this is I just do it over and over and over and over and over. It doesn't matter if you're solving or not. Just do it over and over, and it'll become muscle memory. For me, I don't remember the letters. I just kind of do it, and then it's solved. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys. So make sure your solved uh, piece is on the left, and then um, your unsolved pieces are on the top right here, and then you're going to do this algorithm. R u r prime u prime r prime f r two 
u prime, r prime, u prime, r, u, r prime, f prime. And that'll solve the cube. And like I said, I know that's so much longer than the uh, first one, but that's only one algorithm that you really have to memorize in order to solve this cube. And like I said, what you want to do is just do this over and over again, and just keep going and going and going and going. And it'll just become muscle memory for you. And you'll just do this algorithm over and over again until you just memorize it and it becomes muscle memory for your hands. And I don't even have to think about it. I just see, oh, there's two on the side. Okay, I'll do this algorithm right here. Boom. And then, okay, there's two right here. Just do this algorithm over and over and over. And obviously for me, there's more algorithms because I'm doing a way faster method. But this is for the beginners. It's only two algorithms. The R prime, D prime, R, D. And then the uh, this method that I just taught you, uh, this last algorithm. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to get back to as many of you as I can. And um, uh, I will leave the... Uh, algorithms in the description so if you just want to try to figure it out on your own and just have those uh, down there go ahead and um, also you can go back and just uh, watch that over and over put in slow-mo if you want to um, but like I said the best way to memorize that is just to um, do that algorithm over and over and over even if you go really slow and just practice and practice and practice and practice that's the biggest thing in this is just practicing muscle memory and get that stuck in your brain so you can do that really, really easily. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see another uh, cube how to solve video, just let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to leave a big old like, and if we get uh, 50 likes in this video, I will do the Ortega method and like a newer updated version of uh, Ortega method and how to solve this even faster. My PB is like... I don't know, like four seconds, something like that. It's not crazy fast uh, compared to all the amazing solvers out there, but that's fast for me, and I feel like it'd be fast for you if you're a beginner. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to follow my new Twitch page that I released. It's called Master ETH, and you can um, go watch me play Fortnite, go watch me do uh, NHL, do diff different games, and solve Rubik's Cubes with you guys. Um, go be sure to check that out. There's a new channel also. It's called Master ETH. It's in the new channel, and you can um, also go see... I'll just post some of the Twitch streams onto there, so if you don't like Twitch or don't want to uh, use Twitch, you can just use YouTube and just go subscribe to that channel and help me out there. That'll be great. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and of course subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye.